Welcome back, viewers and subscribers, to Red Button Journal. Today, we're going to go for a drive on Armor Heights and check it out. I think we're going to be able to see down into Mannings Hill and, and Havendale from the other side. So, we're going to see if, the, if this is the right road. I don't know if it is. Never been here before. My co-pilot, Madge, didn't get to come with me today. But... I'm here anyway, so away we go. Oh wow, it's already beautiful hills up there. And I think those houses up there are actually on Stillwell and this Lockhurst Manor. Looks like some sort of apartment building or something. Oh man, I need to slow myself down, people. Yes, I've had a terrible frog in my throat the last few days and I've got some lemon water here. So if it gets too bad, I'll take a break and drink some of my water, my lemon water. Okay. Well, oh, there's places for rent there. Those are nice looking apartments. Nice looking. Hello. Okay. Well, this just looks like a regular Regular old neighborhood here, nothing special so far. Ooh, that's a tough looking dog. Yes, indeed. Okay, looks like maybe some new construction there. No dumping here. Oh, I can see up on the side of the hill, they're doing some dig out, putting, doing some building over here. Hopefully I can see over the fence with my tall arm of my camera yes sir okay oh look at those houses up there oh man i'm thinking i'm gonna end up up there before i'm done we'll soon see oh yeah oh yeah it's kind of an attractive little house different style oh they're over there beware the dog and i believe it too when you say beware a dog in jamaica you mean beware a dog in Jamaica, believe me. Okay, well, nice landscape. I'm probably driving way too fast. I haven't, I haven't done a video since I went to the, to the, the Denby uh, Ag Show. But here I am making one. And maybe later today, Madge will go out with me and we'll get some get some made up ahead of time for you guys. Well, some of these houses are a little bit run down, you know, as you can see, or apartments or whatever. Now, that's an interesting place to go up. I'm not sure the whole point of that, but that's what it is. I'm not really planning on going on two sides here. Now, I think if I took that road there, that Oak Ridge or whatever would take me up into the Stillwell neighborhood. But we're gonna stay on the Armor Heights neighborhood and just see what it's all about. Neighborhood watch. It doesn't say what neighborhood, but I'm pretty sure that I know what this neighborhood is. Well, you're probably all getting tired of me chatting away without anybody to chat to like my baby Madge. I definitely miss my baby Madge. There's no question about it, and that house is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the nicest house I've seen on the road here so far, I'll guarantee it. Well, here's one right next door that looks pretty fancy too. Maybe not quite as nice, but man. Wow, wow. OK, 
okay and then here's another little road but I'm gonna I'm not gonna turn here even though it might be interesting because I want to go way up to the top of the hill here see all these cool cool houses Ooh, that's quite an apartment building there and over there that looks like a residential home mm, boy that'd be the place to live that would definitely, yeah, that's definitely apartments there. Woohoo! Wow! But I like this, I like the single, the, you know, the residential places. They look so nice. So nice. Wow, this is really, this is a pretty drive, you know. I feel like I'm in a hurry because I need to get home and edit this video. But I just need to take my time, you know. Oh, look at those colors. Woo! That's a bright home there. A bright home there. Okay, somewhere we got a double bend coming up. I don't know if it's on this road or some other road that I'm not taking. This isn't a bad road. This road's in pretty good shape, actually. It's narrow but it's in good shape. Oh boy, what a home up there. I can't even see the house. I can only just see. Oh, now I can see it through the, through the leaves of the palms or whatever those are. And then back over here. Oh boy. This is one of those roads I probably should have. Oh, what a cute little puppy. This is one of those roads where I probably should have taken you know go the right go down one direction and come back the next but today I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna take it down one way and hope I don't get rained on hope my old-time batteries that I have in my camera that don't seem to have much gumption anymore hope they last long enough and then I'll go home and see my baby Madge yeah, my baby Madge. Now, some of y'all been asking about Madge versus Maisie. And I was joking one day about twin sisters. Well, it's not sisters. It just, it's the same person, as you all probably knew. And the reason for the different name, just so you understand. When I met Maisie, that was her name, Maisie. That's the only name I knew her by. Well, when I came to Jamaica about three and a half years ago, suddenly people were calling her Miss Madge all the time. And I'm like, what? Why are you calling her Miss Madge? Well, it has to do with her name, her middle name, being Madgerie. And so people, when she was a picnic growing up, she was called Madgerie, or Ma Madge, excuse me, Madge. And so a lot of people, only knew her by Madge. Unless they went to school with her and heard him call her name, they didn't even know about Maisie. They only knew her by what she she goes by. And that and that's quite common in Jamaica where people go by, they kind of have a name they go by that's not really their name. Like, I guess my name in Jamaica is Red Button. <laughs> oh, is this the end of the road? Or I got a corner up here, I hope. Hope I can keep going. Oh yeah, I can. I can. Anyway, and so that that's her Jamaica nickname or whatever you want to call it is Madge. And so a lot of people call her Auntie Madge or Miss Madge or or Mummy. Sometimes people call me fodder. So it's just, you know, it's a term of endearment that Jamaicans use. And they like to have kind of a nickname. It just, for some reason, it's turned out that way. But anyway, so that's that's the deal with Madge and Maisie. Maisie's her technical name, and when I first met her, that's the only name I knew her by. And then when we came to Jamaica, I soon learned that her name was Madge. Actually, I, I shouldn't say I learned it then. I knew it way before we came to Jamaica. But I never, it never really caught on for me. To me, she was my Maisie. Well, 
after being in Jamaica all this time and hearing so many people, including like her brother and, you know, just everybody, calls her Madge or Auntie Madge or Miss Madge or just whatever. And so it got me to hearing it. And once I started hearing it, one day I just caught myself calling her Madge. And, and it was, oh man, let me stop right here. It wasn't like a conscious thing. It was just a subconscious thing that I picked up from everybody, from hearing it over and over. So that's the story. And so that's her Jamaican name. And now that we're in Jamaica, that's what we go by. So let me get over here and show you what we can see down in here. Okay, now that's quite a view. We're looking down into, okay, that road down there at the bottom is, is uh, Highland, is Highland Close. Let me turn so you can hear me in the microphone. Is Highland Close, and, and we went for a walk on that road, and you'll see the green color around the building down there, the big building. That's the apartment buildings that they're building down there. Now, if you look straight across, let's see here. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay, let me pull. Well, straight away there, that's Chancery Hall. The, the, the place is straight away on the, on the, on the hill there. And then when, they, when you go down, you go into, the, the flat part is Havendale. And then when I come, let me pull up so you can see it here. Now the part over there is uh, Belgrade Heights. That's the lower section. Actually, Belgrade Heights starts on that Highland Drive. I did determine that. Somebody had mentioned that to me. And so I got to looking on the map. And sure enough, a little ways on 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 uh, Highland Drive, it changes from from um, Havendale into Belgrade Heights. So down there at the bottom is Belgrade Heights, and then as you go up, 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 then you see Smoky Vale, and we've done a lot of videos over there. And at Smoky Vale. I'm just trying to look and see. Oh, there's there's the one house that Madge that Madge says looks like a boat. It's a white one over there. I don't know. I might have I don't know how well you can see everything. But anyway, that's that's Smoky Vale there. And Chancery Hall there. And way up back over there could be the the top of Red Hills. Well, let me get back on my side of the road here. This is quite fascinating. Oh, there's a house up here behind me too. I didn't even see that. You can really see down in there. I, maybe I should get out and walk up against these people's wall, but they might, if somebody were to see me, they might feel a little bit, you know, not real comfortable with that. That's a nice home. I wouldn't mind living right there. That's a beautiful view over here. Okay, well, I definitely picked the right street to come on because I thought this is going to be the road that you can see out uh, over the city from, from the, it'd be the east side of Mannings Hill Road. And, and you can't even see Mannings Hill Road down there. It's too steep. So, I'm not, you know, People, I'm not even looking at the map to see where I'm at. I'm just taking the road wherever it goes. So keep your fingers crossed that we're going where we're supposed to be and we don't get into any kind of trouble or go down uh, a dead end road that I have to back out of or some silliness like that. Okay, there you get a better view of Smoky Vale and kind of the edge of Chancery Hall. Oh, it's unfortunate you can't really see over the top here that much. But that's. But if you live up in these houses, you can definitely see it. So you don't need to be, you know, 
You don't need to see it in the car. And these are nice roads. Some of y'all might say, oh, those roads aren't any good. Let me get some of my juice here. Mmm. I am totally loving this, guys. I am totally loving this. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, now here's a spot. Oh, I need to show that house up there behind me for a second. But now you can see down to the wharf at the, the Freeport Wharf or whatever they call that. And then there's a house up there. Nice big drive. Oh boy. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, that's the house up there I was seeing. Or one of them. That's one of them. Oh my goodness. People, people, people. That is definitely would be a house to live in. I would, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I, I gotta bring Madge over here, you know. I was just gonna go out on a drive today and I had originally planned to just drive Stillwell and she's been on Stillwell so it wouldn't be any big deal. But once I got to the corner to go up Stillwell, I thought, you know, I've been wanting to come over here. So I'll just do it because you guys deserve it. And not that Madge doesn't deserve it, but, <laughs> but she does. We'll do it again because, uh, you know, there's several places I've gone alone. And I, like I went over to, to uh, Mount uh, Salus. Well, that's a nice friend up there. Went over to Mount Salus and, and a lot of you said, oh, they look forward to having me go there with Madge sometime. And so, of course, I will. So anyway, I, I'm going to have to bring her up in here because she has not been up here, I'm pretty sure, unless her one of her family members or something took her on a ride one time when I wasn't feeling up to going on a ride, and they came over here. Oh, man. Oh, it looks kind of, it's kind of clouding up like it might do something. So those look like... Some sort of little apple or something. I don't know what those are. If there was somebody in the yard, I'd ask them. I'd definitely stop and ask them what kind of plants those are. Oh, somebody doing some work here. I hear some, some uh, air hammer, or not air hammer, but one of those electric chisel things going over there. Okay. Yeah, they're redoing this house back here. Yeah. Now, that's a road I could have gone down. Um, let me make sure. Okay, that just goes back to where I was at before. And I said, oh, that little road up there, maybe I should take that or not. But look, even though this is a nice neighborhood, we still got a little goat farmer going on here. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Blessings. Yeah, I'll watch for, I'm watching the goats. I don't want to catch their rope under my tire and jerk them, you know. Oh, you got a nice little herd, though. Yeah. Blessings. <laughs> okay, the man's got some goats.
Oh, I was going to kind of pull over there like a little turnoff, but that's somebody's driveway down there. Oh, they got some big old guard dogs. And I don't... Oh, you can't wag your tail and... <laughs> oh, they're going to wag their tails. They think they're going to be guard dogs wagging their tail. They don't work that way. <laughs> you don't work that way, people. You can't wag your tail like that and pretend to be a guard dog. Although, I've never been bitten by a dog wagging his tail. That doesn't mean one wouldn't. So, you still got to be on the, you still got to be careful. Well, this is really something. This is really, really something. Oh, that house is, nobody's living right there. Nobody's living right there right now. Well, maybe they are. They just maybe walk, but. So there may be some homes and some property available up in here. There always is someplace, you know, you just, the, the thing, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, 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 I gotta back up a little bit. The, the thing is in these places like this, I understand when something goes on the market, it is not gonna be there for long. Oh, I like that. I like the way they did the big, the big roof out over there and made a big brand around. Huh. Lots of pine trees. Or what looks like pine trees going down into there well, some of these are older some are being in the process of being refurbished right now but all in all this is this is not a bad neighborhood at all I was a little surprised to see those goats, but you know, back, back in some places where I used to live, they would, you could hire goat people to come run your, their goats on your property, and clean it up. Let me check here, see which road I'm supposed to go on. I think I need to take the bottom one. There is a nice one up there to take, but yeah, I'd have to come back down. So. I don't want to be gone too long without Miss Madge with me. She'll get to worrying about me and I'll get to missing her. She's something. She means the world to me. No doubt about it. Oh, there's somebody sitting up on the veranda looking out over the beautiful view today. Oh boy, just enjoy the view people, enjoy the view. Maybe you'll spot something that you recognize down there. Just look and enjoy your view. Enjoy the view, enjoy the landscape. Yep. Yeah. Apologize if I'm going too fast for some of you. Are going too slow for others but this is the speed we're going today and you know it's all beautiful boy now that's a road there you better be ready to have some horsepower to get up oh they've got a carport right there Okay. <laughs> I hear some music down in there. 
Jamaicans love their music. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Wow. Enjoy the glimpse when you can, people. Just enjoy the glimpse. Okay, look at this. See? Look at the sign there. Cavendish International Realty. 876-881-8495 or 876-960-3440. CavendishRealtyJM.com for sale. I don't know if it's just land or if there's an actual property for sale. But like I was saying just a minute ago, It's, you know, there's a lot of, you can still buy up in these places, but you better be ready. You have better have your money in your pocket or your bank loan secured or whatever, because people aren't going to want to wait around because there's going to be people lined up to make the sale. Hello. <laughs> well, now they kind of have their... A garage. I wonder if that's for that over there. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe their house is down the stairway or something. It's pretty steep over here on that side. On the right side. On the left side. Goes way up. I can't even see them. So hopefully I'm aiming the camera somewhere near. And then here you can see where it goes way down. This is a steep this is a steep hill here. So I mean you've got some of these some of these people that are parked here maybe uh, their houses are kind of down below a little bit. Uh oh, I'm feeling a little bit of raindrops people. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I can see it coming. Look at it coming across here. You can see it. You'll soon see it here. Here it's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut this. Ah, I'm not quite to the end of the tour. What am I to do, people? What am I to do? Well, we're gonna do a little bit of rain work here today and see how that goes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Some apartments in there. You know, some of the apartments around here are quite expensive, but but they're not all so bad. I mean, you just have to you just have to check. Some can be quite high, especially for the newer ones or the ones with a gorgeous view. But those that are just in a nice neighborhood, but don't necessarily have the wonderful, you know, the million dollar view, as they say. Uh, they're, they can be reasonable, so might be something to check out. I'm going to have to bring this camera in because I'm getting some stuff on my lens that I'm going to have to clean off. And I better get the water off of my sound equipment. Turn on my windshield wipers and maybe just Sit this here, and we'll get the windshield wipers going. Let's see here. Oh, that's the back ones. Well, this is the second outing that I've had a little rain to deal with, people. I apologize for that. But you know, you notice we're down to the flat now. So we've kind of, we've been on all the majestic stuff. And we just, you know, got there just in the, in the nick of time. So, because this looks basically flat now. Not that you all wouldn't still want to see it and look it over. Let me try this over here. You know, let's see where I need to go here. Straight or to the right? No, I think I want to go straight. Now, this looks like a real nice neighborhood right here that I'm about to go through. And you can see some houses or apartments. You can see some apartments back up over here on the side of the hill oh 
Okay, I had somebody behind me here. Well, rats. All right, well. Bummer, 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 bummer. Bummer, 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 bummer. What a bummer, what a bummer. I just, well, oh, that's a nice one over there. Well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and bring Madge because she's gonna absolutely love all this. So, uh, I'll just kind of film the end here, and y'all can see what you can see. But this is this can happen in Jamaica. It can just suddenly start to rain in the way, and who knows how long it'll rain for? It might rain for five minutes, or it might rain for five hours. But five hours would be quite unusual but we do have some rain kind of coming in from some of those one of those uh, tropical waves as they call it one of those waves that can turn into a hurricane well Okay, let's see where I'm at here. Okay. Okay. We're going to turn left here. I missed a few nice houses. But as you can see, we're down on the flat now. So, tour is basically over, but I'm just going to keep it going, people. If you don't feel like you want to keep watching, that's fine. But I do ask one thing of you, that you be sure and you like the video and you subscribe to the channel so you can see our next things that we come out with. And, and you know, I know you're gonna enjoy them. I better hurry up, this guy wants to go. And, and uh, but the other thing is, you know, watch one of my other videos. If you haven't seen some of my other work, I think you'd really like it. So be sure and do that. And that helps the channel too, because then uh, YouTube says, oh, well, somebody's gonna watch for a while. So that's good, isn't it? and it helps me grow my channel and the more I grow my channel the, the easier it's going to be for me to come out and do this sort of thing so it looks like I've come out at a different place and we're going to end it right here people because this is this is uh, constant springs road and I got to go up here and turn around and head back the other way so anyway big up yourself bless up yourself like share comment subscribe and Madge loves you and I love you and we'll see y'all in the next one.